guys! I'm doing the makeup tutorial, hence the no makeup, um, and my hair's not greasy, I just got out of the shower. You know, that was a source of much confusion in one of my videos. Um, anyways, so I will start real quick by saying that I'm done with my finals, and I am so excited. I'm kind of ecstatic, actually. And, um, I actually didn't go out and, like, drink and celebrate yet, because, uh, I am going to dinner tonight, and I'm going to a really nice place, and I didn't want to, like, ruin it by being, like, really drunk when I go, um, but, I mean, we're going to get a bottle of wine and stuff there, so it'll be really fun. Um, I will talk a little bit more about that specifically in another video. This is going to be the girly video, plus I need to hurry because if my hair, um, it's already a little weird, if my hair dries on its own, it, um, dries really terribly, so I have to dry it before it dries itself. Alright, so makeup. Um, oh, okay, so first I start off by moisturizing, of course. I use um, this, it's Clean and Clear Dual Action Moisturizer. I actually don't know if this is what the bottle still looks like because I've had this one for a long time because I don't use very much of it. So, i just put that on first. Okay. And it feels good too. They have like a morning burst one, which is even better. The problem I have with my face is dryness. Um, and so I have to moisturize sometimes like twice a day or else it gets too dry, which I'm actually surprised that I can even use powder on my face because of how dry my face can get. But if I use um, like liquid foundation, then I break out. So it's like I had to choose one or the other. Okay, so what I do next is, um, I don't know if you can tell in this light, but I have really thin skin under my eyes. And so, um, yeah, you can't really tell right now, but it kind of looks like I have a black eye sometimes when I don't do anything. So I just use a little bit of concealer under my eye. It's kind of hard to tell what I'm doing in this. <laughs> oh well, you guys will get the just. Oh, I'll tell you what this is, too, that I use. It's also difficult because the camera's opposite, so it's a mirror image. Um, this is Erase Paste by Benefit, and it's awesome. I bought this, like, um, three years ago, and I still have it. There's still, like, that much left in it. But again, I don't really wear a lot of makeup, so that's why it's probably lasted a while. Okay, so then for my powder, I use MAC Studio Fix. And I know that some people's faces get irritated by this, um, but I'm just lucky, I guess, that it doesn't. I use N4. I'm running out of this one, too. I'm actually running out of everything. Um, I use a brush instead of the, um, this, well, obviously it looks like I have used this because sometimes I'll use it just to get specific spots. But I prefer to use this um, because I can clean this easier. And also, um, when I use the uh, sponge, I, it, it gets these weird oily spots on the powder. And so um, it doesn't do that with the brush. So yeah, then I just put some powder on my face. I don't take out my nose ring when I do my makeup, so it's just, I mean, whatever goes around it, not a big deal. Okay, so that is my base. Next, I just use Wet n Wild. Um, for my blush, so nothing fancy there, because I figure it works just as well as the expensive stuff, and it's cheap. Um, I use a different brush for this one. This this is a MAC brush um, that was given to me as a gift. I use a different one so that um, you know my foundation brush doesn't get all pink. Um, the only downside with using cheap blush is sometimes you have to use a lot more. So it looks like I'm putting on a lot, but you can't really, um, so you could, you're just like barely now starting to tell. Let me make sure I'm doing this right. I'm actually putting on more than I should, because this light is weird. So if that ever happens, just put on some regular powder over that. Let me see. Yeah, I'm a little overly blushed, whatever. Okay, so then the last thing I do is mascara, and I use Lash Blast Volume. See that? CoverGirl makes it. 
and they just started doing a purple lid for some reason. I don't know why. And um, when I put mascara on, I blink to do it because it pulls the eyelashes up more. And I don't use a um, eyelash curler just mainly because I don't have one, but also because I feel like my eyelashes just get stuck to them. I don't like the way it feels. Okay. Bam. That's it. And sometimes on a fancier occasion, so this is just my everyday makeup. Sometimes on a fancier occasion, I will put um, a little bit of brown eyeliner on the top. This is actually technically brow pencil, but I use it for that. And this is um, Rimmel London. And then I don't really wear eyeshadow that often. I just don't prefer it on myself. I feel like it makes me look like I'm trying too hard. But of course, everybody's entitled to their own thing. Um, I also don't really wear lipstick that often, um, basically just because I hate the whole like reapplying it, you know, every time you have like a drink or whatever. But, oops, sorry. But I did just get some new lipstick that I love. Um, it's by Revlon. And so what it is, is um, on the one end is the lip color. And you put it on and it's like a stain. So you put it on and you let it dry. And then this side is just a clear, kind of like a lip gloss, but um, it's a little bit thicker than a lip gloss. So it makes you feel like you're wearing lipstick. You know, it's not, um, it's not like stiff, like a normal stain would be, but nothing comes off. It's amazing. I know this isn't new and a lot of people <laughs> have discovered this a lot earlier, but I think it's like really incredible that you can like, uh, eat and drink and nothing comes off. So I like that a lot. All right. So I'm going to dry my hair and then I will be back in a second to talk about clothes. Okay. All done. Um, whenever I finish doing my hair, I always think of that, uh, that Jenna Marbles video where she talks about, I don't know, getting ready or something. And then, um, she like skips to when she's done blow drying and straightening her hair and she was like, that it was not good for it at all. Or something like that. I think about that every time because it's definitely not good. Um, which is why I only wash my hair every few days. It's better for it actually, um, because the natural oils or something like that are good for your hair. Um, and if you're the type of person who doesn't, or if you're the type of person like me who has dry hair anyways, then um, going a few days in between washes is good. And usually my favorite time for, the times I have like good hair days are usually like the second or third day after I've washed it. Because as you can see right now, it's kind of like poofy. There's a little bit too much volume. So by like the second or third day, it's relaxed a little bit and I like it better. Um, sometimes I curl it my hair dries naturally kind of curly wavy, but it's not a curly wavy that I like, so I try to um, take control and do it myself. Um, and I'll probably show you guys my um, what I do for graduation, like how I do my hair and everything, because um, I have like plans to do it like a new special way. And anyways, I am kind of rambling because I'm not entirely sure what to fill this video with. I know I said I was going to do like an outfit a day thing, but I ended up kind of forgetting to take pictures. So I'm just gonna um, show you some outfits now that I regularly wear, so you can kind of get an idea of that. Um, I, I'm not gonna put them on because that's just a lot of work and it's really hot today. I don't feel like getting overly physical. Um, so anyways, here we go. First I'll show you what I'm wearing right now, um, which I, is an outfit that I would wear like to work or it's kind of a weird angle I don't know where to put this anyways this is something I would wear to work or class um, it's just a, a high-waisted uh, skirt and here it's short though so I mean you could put some tights under it if you wanted to be more professional which I would probably do at work and I just have it tucked in um, considering the weather here and also considering just decency, I would probably wear a cardigan with it, and um, I'm quite proud of my cardigan collection. Um, also, although I probably wouldn't do this with this skirt, because it might not match, but sometimes, like say I was wearing this shirt with some jeans, I would wear um, my coat jacket over it, because 
the one that I have um, from Banana Republic. This is a way to make something look more professional. The reason I wouldn't wear it with this is because they're slightly different blacks. You can't really tell right now, but that would bother me knowing that they're slightly different blacks. And in any case, I have a skirt that matches this, so it wouldn't really matter. Okay, so that's one thing I do, and sometimes you could roll these up. What's cool about this one is when you roll it up, it's got a pattern under it, pinstripes, so it looks kind of cool. Um, this is something else that I wear a lot. It's, um, it's a skirt. It's a slightly longer skirt. It's also high-waisted. Sorry. So, obviously I wear a different shirt, although it's not terrible together, but um, I'll often wear like a black shirt under it and then black um, heels with it. So there's that. Um, what else? Oh, I'll show you guys what I'm wearing to graduation. I'm so excited. I got this dress from Zara. Um, it's awesome. It's got this like pattern up here and it zips up the side. The uh, difficult part has been oops, has been trying to not wear it. Um, all right I wear uh, see, this is like awkward I'm not like, not <laughs> talking. Uh, I wear a lot of dresses uh, just because I love dresses so you can see um, the majority of that is dresses. I just picked up my gown so exciting. Oh my gosh, you have to see the hat. It's so embarrassing. These hats are like, are just the most embarrassing things ever. They are so dorky. Look at it. Oh my god, it's ridiculous. And it's so tight. I just going to have to wear this for hours and get a headache. So it's not like a normal cap for a cap and gown. Sorry, this is, like I said, very informal. I'll give you some other examples of dresses I have. Um, this is a dress that I would wear. It has a cute gold belt in the back. And I would just probably wear like a brown cardigan with it. Um, here's a slightly more professional dress. I actually got this at Goodwill. Um, I would probably wear this with like a red cardigan over it for some color. Here's another dress that I wear. Um, it's kind of 40s, the buttons on the sleeves, and it's pleated, and you can't really tell, but it's got tiny little polka dots. Um, yeah, so I mean, that's kind of kind of an example of like the more dressy things that I wear. Um, I have a variety of like, you know, going from more informal dresses to formal, but you can really like make an informal dress formal, as long as it's not all cleavagey. Um, if you just like add a cardigan or something, I just always say add a cardigan. <laughs> and I don't have my shoes down here, unfortunately. Our apartment's two stories, and um, we keep all of our shoes by the front door. So that's just me being lazy and not going to get them. Uh, but yeah, these are my sunglasses. I also have these in black, but they're broken right now. I have to get them fixed. Um, okay, and then also as far as hair stuff goes, um, I use a Conair round brush. I'm not going to show you because it's gross. And I need to clean it. and I've got so much hair, it's gross. Um, and then I use um, this Revlon blow dryer, which um, I don't know what these are called, but I love this. It helps to make my hair like not as frizzy when I'm done blow drying it. And then for straightener, I use... Um, brand this is. I feel like it's worn off. But it's from Target. I want to say that it's Revlon. Oh no, it's Remington. So this is a Remington. Um, and then I have a variety of different sized curling irons too, but they're in the bathroom. Um, other girly things. Oh. I take, um, I take a biotin supplement every day. It's supposed to be good for your hair, skin, and nails. And um, I also take a women's one a day, but it doesn't have biotin in it, or 
It might, but it, it might only have like a tiny bit. And this is, um, or it's, it's 1,667% of your daily value. So it's supposed to be really good for that. Um, okay, more girly stuff. This is actually kind of fun. Um, this is the deodorant I use. It's um, Dove, and it's nectarine and white ginger scent. And this is the lotion that I use, um, my like post-shower lotion. It's from Bath and Body Works. It's the cherry blossom flavor, or scent. <laughs> and I also use this body spray. Um, I don't really use body spray that often because I feel like with the lotion and um, and the soap from my shower, I already kind of smell like a lot of things, and from the deodorant. But sometimes I'll just add a spritz to like my sweater or something. Okay, and then lastly, I think this is the last thing I'll talk about. Um, my favorite line of hair care products is Bumble and Bumble. Unfortunately, I can't afford to use Bumble and Bumble on a regular basis, like for shampoo and conditioner, because it's like thirty dollars for each bottle. I'm pretty sure, and the, the bottles are so small. So I use Aveda, which is really amazing too. Um, and luckily, it's only like thirty dollars for both the shampoo and the conditioner. Uh, but I use um, Bumble and Bumble Brilliantine for when I'm done blow drying and done straightening. You um, you run it through your hair. Yeah, you run it through your hair and it kind of like seals the ends and makes things look a little bit less like fly away, which I have problems with that anyway. All right, so I think that that might be it as far as my girly stuff. But that's basically what I use on a daily basis um, to get ready and everything. So I hope that um, you guys enjoyed this and I'm sorry that it was like so entirely um, all over the place, but yeah, there it is then. Hope everyone's having a good week and I'll be back soon to talk about, um, I'm going to make that video about my time management and I will be able to update you guys on graduation and everything, which is just six days away.